Hi, I'm Anoop Parikh. I'm out at Discovery Green Park with Evolve Houston celebrating Earth Day. Texans love their trucks as much as they love their boots, cowboy hats, and brisket. But with a variety of EV trucks being released, I'm here to find out if I can get people to break away from their internal combustion engines or ice and sign up for an EV test drive. I call this Icebreakers. Hi, I'm Anoop Parikh. What's your name? Jonas. My name's Doran. Duran. Like Duran Duran. I'm a fan, but yes, it's spelled differently. <laughs> you said you do a lot of things out here at uh, Discovery Green, like what? Yeah, I'm actually a circus performer. What are you doing to celebrate for Earth Day? Uh, well, I actually just watched Seaspiracy. What do you do to help the environment? Recycle. Stop eating plastic. Your sister's uh, finding out you're eating plastic for the first time. Do you drive an ICE, internal combustion engine vehicle, or an electric vehicle? Uh, I think it's called a car. Do either of you drive an electric vehicle? No. So what happens if you could wake up to a full tank every day? That would be amazing. Would you consider an electric car as your next vehicle? Possibly. I do feel like they're the future. So would you prefer sedans, SUVs, or trucks? I'm a big uh, truck guy, so um, I would probably get a truck. Are you much of a truck person? No. Okay, well, we're going to get into a lot of truck questions. <laughs> All right. So when I say trucks, what brands come to mind? Ford. Yeah, Ford. Dodge, GMC, Chevy, uh, Ford. GMC, Ford. Ford. Ford is the best in Texas. I love it. You got that country twang in there, too. <laughs> now even Tesla's making a truck. I mean, I know Tesla's got a new one, but, you know. <laughs> it's like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Everyone's all Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Of all 50 states, where does Texas rank for pickup truck ownership? Oh, God, one. Man, it's got to be first. What I think most people think that we're truck country, we're actually second only to California. Really? So let's play a game. I'm going to show you some logos of trucks and basically see if you can identify them. Of course. So what, what logo or what brand is that? Chevy. So this one, uh, American, but also we took away two letters from it. You know which two letters those are? We do not. We removed the letters. Which one might this be? GM. Nailed it. There you go. So this one's a little trickier. Um, it's actually new. So I'll tell you, it's a brand that actually reinvented their logo to accommodate electric vehicles recently. <laughs> like a minus sign? The only thing we minused was the G and M. Sir, you look familiar. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Nirav Parikh. All right, so you're my brother, so this should be, uh, I guess it's going to reflect more on me. Uh, I either have taught you well or nothing about electric vehicles at all. Or I just don't listen very well. <laughs> this is an electric truck company. Does that look familiar? No, it doesn't. Any idea? No, 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 I'm not going to even waste your time. No, no. <laughs> All right. It's the Rivian. Who came up with that name? <laughs> Do you recognize this brand? No. You're killing me right now. She said Newton. Is that like based off Isaac Newton? Yeah. This is Nikola. Nikola Motors. Nikola Motor Company. I have a feeling you're going to know this one. Yeah, and that's Thor's hammer right there. Have you seen this brand before? A popular electric car brand. Tesla? Tell me if you can recognize this one. Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, man, not ringing nothing. No, nothing. I'm in the dark on that one as well. It's Lordstown Motors. Oh, no. no. Do you know this one? <laughs> Chevy. There you go. Are they making an electric truck? Yes. Uh, you do? <laughs> what? Smart guess. Yes, they are. 50-50. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ever grow up watching The Price is Right? Yes. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer it. When you start guessing, I'm going to tell you higher or lower. Fair enough? Yeah. Internal combustion engines have about roughly 2,000 moving parts. How many moving parts in an electric vehicle? That's really tricky. 600. Lower. Probably 434. Lower. 300? Lower. 250. Lower. 1,001. Lower. 185. Lower. 9. <laughs> Higher. 20. Nailed it. 20. It's basically just less than 20 parts, moving parts. Crazy. That seems like it's a lot easier to deal with. You save money in a way because not as many things are breaking down. So uh, I noticed you're from Houston. What's your name? Sylvester Turner. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mayor Turner in the house. That's so amazing to have a chance to chat with you. This is awesome. This is roughly just a kind of example depiction of the number of gas stations around Houston inside the loop and the number of current charging stations in the loop. I mean, what do you think about what you see right now? I think there's definitely a discrepancy with area, maybe on the east side. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a good amount of charging stations. Not bad, yeah. But I guess compared to gas stations? Yeah, that's insane. Need more, right? So there's about 150,000 gas stations in the U.S., but obviously you multiply that by pumps, there's probably closer to a million gas pumps. How many charging stations in the U.S. today and go? 500,000. Lower. 300,000. Lower. 50,000. Higher. 60,000. Higher. 70,000. Higher. 80,000. 
Uh, about 100,000. You're right on. 100,000. Mayor Turner's got this. Yeah, I think for it to be seen as equal in society, you have to have those resources. So definitely getting more and more stations open. We obviously got to get more out there. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, and that's how you get it started, right? People start seeing them more. They feel more comfortable with them. The city of Houston is, uh, is encouraging charging stations, and I know um, BP and Uber just announced a plan about uh, putting in place some charging stations. Uh, so I'm excited about that as well. And what I want to ask is, would you be willing to sign up for a test drive so we can get you really sold on EV? You're going to give me a test drive of an electric vehicle? That's what we're going to do. Let's go get you signed up. Awesome. Now that I've got your interest, learned some things, you think I could get you to sign up for an electric vehicle test drive? Possibly, yeah. I don't, I'm not opposed to it. I was wondering, can we get you to sign up for a test drive today? Sure, why not? Yeah, so Evolve Houston will just help you get set up. Uh, now that you've learned a little more, can we get you to sign up for an EV test drive? Sure, absolutely. So we can get Jonas signed up for an electric vehicle test drive with Evolve Houston. I'm wondering if we can get you to sign up for a test drive on an electric vehicle. Uh, I kind of need to go to the restroom. Okay, but after you get back, would you be down to sign up for a test? Uh, perhaps, yeah. My name is Duran, and I just learned a lot about EVs and EV trucks on the Fast and the Curious. Happy, Happy Earth Day! Happy Earth Day! Happy Earth Day! Happy Earth Day! This is Mayor Sylvester Turner, City of Houston. Happy Earth Day! Happy Earth Day from Evolve Houston! And there you have it. That wraps up Icebreakers. We signed up a bunch of people for EV test drives. We learned some things, we taught some things, and we're ready to evolve Houston into the EV truck capital of the world.